Okay. Let's go on to the second question. A toy car is uh, moves with a constant speed around a circle. When its coordinates are x equal to 0, y equal to 3, its velocity is 6 meters per second uh, in the i direction. When it's at neg x equal to negative 3 meters, y equal to 0, what is its acceleration? Okay, so since it moves around a circle, let's draw a circle. And let's quickly draw a coordinate axis as well. Okay, so initially, this object and this car is at point x equal to 0, y equal to 3. So it's somewhere here, and it's moving, and its velocity is oops, strictly along the y-axis or the x-axis. So v is equals to 6 meters per second. Okay. okay. Now it's asking when it is at x equal to negative 3 and y equal to 0, what is its acceleration? So when it's at this point, what is its acceleration? Now you have to note here that uh, the question is specifying that the, it is constant speed. So constant speed essentially implies that there is no uh, uh, tangential acceleration. So tangential acceleration results from change in speed, whereas uh, centripetal acceleration results from change in direction. So in this case, since we're moving along the circle, we're changing direction at every instance. So we would have centripetal acceleration, but not tangential acceleration. And at this point, our velocity is upwards, but the magnitude is the same meters per second and instead of i this is j okay so let's write this down so let me make this bigger so you can clearly see since the object moves around the circle with constant speed there is no tangential acceleration as it is a resultant of change in speed on the other hand Since there is change in direction of the velocity, we have centripetal acceleration. Okay. So hopefully uh, that makes it more clear why we don't have tangential acceleration and why we have uh, centripetal acceleration only. So now since the question is asking for what's the acceleration, all we need to do is plug in the uh, formula for acceleration. AC is equal to V squared over R, where V is the velocity and R is the radius. We are already given the velocity to be 6 meters per second. and uh, the radius from the circle which we drew is 3 meters. So therefore, this is 6 squared over 3 is equal to 36 over 3. It is equal to 12 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the center for last direction. Let's make sure that that's the same solution. And this is actually very important to note, and I should draw it, that the centripetal acceleration would be always acting towards the center of the circle. 
So the AC would be acting towards the center at all the instances. So this instance and this instance and this instance. Okay. So we get acetation to be 12 I cap, which is exactly what we got as well. So great X mission and the answer is correct. Okay, let's jump.